Mastering platformers can be so much more beneficial than you might imagine. There are many very popular indie games out there that utilize the simplicity of a platform that have made millions. Hence why out of all the courses I'm creating for you guys, a platformer is the first one I made. There's a few other reasons, but this is probably one of the best reasons I'll say. This series of courses will go through a few complex topics that you will hopefully master over the next few weeks of doing this course. So our platformer here, it's going to have three parts. These parts are going to have a few sections inside of each one. The first part will have the player. It's just going to go over how a player moves, how to animate it, stuff like that. Just these very simple player stuff that you would need in a platformer. After that, we'll go into the AI monsters and how to set up an AI monster, how AI works, uh, stuff like that. And then the third part, kind of in the, sec in the first part, uh, will be extras. So we'll go over some sound effects, some GUI, and some collectibles. We're going to build on to the previous part with part two, where we're going to go into our player again, but we're going to build a state machine. So this, ki this is kind of the big part of this part. Right? So in part two, we're going to focus mainly on these state machines. And state machines are a big topic in game design and game dev, which is why I decided to do this. So if you don't understand state machines, it's kind of hard for you. Definitely check out this part or course. I think it'll be very helpful for you guys. So the second part of it, it will be globalizing scenes and scripts and understanding how those work and how to utilize them. And lastly, we'll have extras again. So we'll build a bit more onto our game. So we'll have more monsters, more levels, and some custom input mapping. Lastly, we will have uh, a few extra things essentially that we're going to add to our game. This part, uh, part three, is meant to just beef up your game and go from creating all the very simple stuff to making the game more fun. This part is literally just focused on making a fun game. So uh, the first part we're going to do is our player. So we're going to add a few particle effects, whether it's the death particle effects, uh, some run particle effects, stuff like that. We'll add a camera shake, which is a very useful thing inside of game design, as you might imagine, and then some player health GUI to represent our health. Uh, there's a few other small sections in there, but uh, I didn't put it up here, so you can definitely check it out on part three. And then lastly, some traps. Those are pretty kind of self-explanatory. We're going to add some traps to our game, uh, a saw trap that moves around, a pendulum spike ball, and a falling platform. We'll go through the logic of doing each one of these and how we can do that. And lastly, we'll go through some extras again, add some better level transitions and a main menu. And that is pretty much it. So uh, I split up the, the section or the course into three separate parts for a very good reason. Um, it's just mainly to build each part on top of each other. And I want each part or each kind of course to be digestible by you guys, because this is one of the things I noticed from Godot Genesis is when I slap you with 20 hours of lecture time, you're going to watch one hour, get bored and stop, and you're going to give up. And I don't want you guys to give up. So um, that's kind of why I did it this way. I've split up each section or each part into more digestible lectures so they're not too long and not too short so you can go through them and make the game yourself uh, so to access these courses i've decided to put them up on my website for five dollars for each part uh, or alternatively you can become a member on my site and access all my courses i've also decided to put up the courses on udemy uh, but keep in mind there's a minimum price on udemy so i can't lower it any more than it would be up for uh, so i think it's like 15 dollars. i'm not really sure uh, additionally, it's if you like what I do, um, I do really encourage you to support me specifically, or if you want to support me specifically, sorry, then please do consider buying on my site instead. Uh, I think the format is, I'm not going to say better, but it's similar and I'll be able to be more flexible on it. Uh, and I'm not really going to support Udemy's side. So if you put any questions on Udemy, I probably won't answer them. Uh, but on my website, I'll be very like quick to it. If you have any questions, I'll answer them right away. Um, so yeah. And I also, Udemy just isn't ideal for me. So in the long run, I'm going to kind of put everything on my site. Uh, but nonetheless, I just want to say thank you for all the support so far. Uh, and lastly, just as a sneak peek, I'm going to be creating a super in-depth RTS course next, uh, which is a much more updated version of my previous RTX, uh, RTS game uh, on this channel, right? Uh, that one's very old and it's definitely not done very well uh but so i'm going to be updating it and putting it on as a course um so it'll follow the same format of my courses so we'll go through some of the concepts first go through the lectures 
and then you you will get to try it through assignments, etc. So please do consider supporting me on my site to just help the production of this course as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to stop yapping, guys. Um, thank you so much again, and bye-bye for now, okay?